Shri Jayatirtha, Shri Jayatirtha or Jayatirtharu, also known as Tikacharya c. 1365 c. 1388 was a Hindu philosopher, dialectician, polemicist and the sixth pontiff of Madhvacharya Pitha. He is considered to be one of the most important seers in the history of Dvaita school of thought on account of his sound elucidations of the works of Madhvacharya. He is credited with structuring the philosophical aspects of Dvaita and through his polemical works, elevating it to an equal footing with the contemporary schools of thought. Along with Madhva and Vyasatirtha, he is venerated as one of the three great spiritual sages, or Munitra of Dvaita. Born into an aristocratic Dashastha Brahmin family, he later adopted the cause of Dvaita after an encounter with the Madhva saint, Akshobhyatirtha d. 1365. He composed 22 works, consisting of commentaries on the works of Madhva and several independent treatises criticizing the tenets of contemporary schools, especially Advaita, while simultaneously elaborating upon the Dvaita thought. His dialectical skill and logical acumen earned him the distinction of Takakarya or commentator par excellence. Biography Historical sources on Jayatirtha's life is scant. Most of the information about his life is derived from two hagiographies, a new Jayatirtha Vijaya and Burhad Jayatirtha Vijaya from his disciple, Vyasatirtha not to be confused with Vyasatirtha and a compilation by Chalari Samkarsanakarya c. 1700. He was born Dandu or Dondo Pantrighunath to a Brahmin Deshpand family. The place of his birth is assigned to either Mangalweda or Manyaheta. According to the hagiographies, his father was a nobleman of military rank and importance. Dondo Pant grew up in affluence, with a certain predilection towards sports, especially horse riding. At the age of 20, after a chance encounter with the ascetic Akshobhyatirtha on the banks of River Kagini, he underwent a transformation which led him to renounce his former life, but not without resistance from his family. After much deliberation, his family relented and he was subsequently initiated into the Dvaita fold by Akshobhyatirtha, who named him Jayatirtha. Jayatirtha succeeded Akshobhya as the pontiff in 1365. He composed several commentaries and treatises in the brief span of 23 years between his initiation and death in 1388. The location of his tomb, Brindavana, is a matter of controversy. Topic. Works There have been 22 works accredited to Jayatirtha, 18 of which are commentaries on the works of Madhvacharya. Nyaya Suda, which is a commentary on Madhva's Anu Vyahayana, is considered to be his magnum opus. Running up to 24,000 verses, it discusses and critiques a variety of philosophers and their philosophies, ranging from the orthodox schools of Hinduism like Mimamsa and Nyaya to heterodox schools like Buddhism and Jainism, arguing in favor of Dvaita. Apart from commentaries, he has authored four original treatises of which Pramana Padhati and Vadavali stand apart. Pramana Padhati is a short monograph on the epistemology of Dvaita dealing with the pramanas in question, theory of truth and error and validity of knowledge while Vadavali deals with the nature of reality and illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy Jayatirtha occupies a special place in the history of Dvaita literature. The lucidity and measured style of his writing coupled with his keen dialectical ability has allowed his works to percolate through time, reinforced by the commentaries of later philosophers like Vyasatirtha, Raghavendra Tirtha and Vidiraja Tirtha. Dasgupta remarks. Jayatirtha and Vyasatirtha present the highest dialectical skill in Indian thought. 
His masterpiece, Nyaya Suda or Nectar of Logic, deals with refuting an encyclopedic range of philosophies that were in vogue at the time. Pereira notes, His monumental Nectar of Logic is one of the pinnacles of Indic theological achievement. Brindavana Scholarly opinion is divided on the location of Jayatirtha's tomb. Tradition considers Malkt as the legitimate location of Jayatirtha's mortal remains while some claim that historical evidence and Vidiraja Tirtha's Tirtha Prabandha point to Nava Brindavana as the actual location. <laughs> <laughs> 